coming up in this episode. So our van just got here, and look at the state of these tires. I am not getting in this van. This is so stressful. Today we are headed to Port Barton. At six o'clock this morning I was up on the computer booking our van, which we were planning to leave at 11 a.m. but now we're leaving at 1 p.m. It gives us a little bit more time to pack because there's stuff everywhere. But first, we're gonna walk down to a coffee shop. It's about 15 minute walk down out here to the right. I'm definitely excited to get a coffee there after the hotel providing me with shitty coffee and now telling me that I have to pay for it, but you know, hey ho. That's just how it goes. Dan is ready. There he is. Ready. Woo! We walked to a cafe we found on Google Maps. When we arrived, it wasn't open until 11 a.m. However, they saw us looking in and welcomed us in early. It was so good to enjoy the coffee here, which was made perfectly that we ended up having two each. No more waiting for the gun to fire. No more walking through revolving doors. I've gone around once and I don't need to go around anymore. Break away, get your sober case. Stop dwelling on empty words. Stop stalling in the doorway. And cancel the cruise control. We jumped in another tricycle after picking up our bags and headed to, yes, you guessed it, another cafe where we got a bite to eat. I had a grilled cheese, which was by far the worst grilled cheese I've ever had. We have just got to the San Jose terminal. Tuk Tuk driver, tricycle driver guy thought we were going to be going to a different one. Apparently there's the new and the old one. We are at the old one, as if you couldn't tell by the, uh, the lovely scenery around me. Look at this van. This, hopefully this isn't the van that we're going in. It looks a little bit broken down. He charged us 200 pesos, which I think we got a little bit ripped off because of uh, we went nowhere near as far as we were meant to be. He thought we were gonna be seven kilometers and we were only 2.3, but that's okay. Um, 200 pesos is like, what, $3 or something. So uh, it's not too bad. But just be aware that there is two terminals. So be aware where you're booking from and going to. Make sure you check your emails and stuff. There he is. Hot. <laughs> bus leaves at 1 p.m. He's eating his mixed nuts. We've already had lunch and still going. His pancakes were not enough. There's only seven people on the van, and normally it fits 16. So we should have a little bit more space than normal. It fits 16. They fit 16 on that little tiny little thing. We are not on the bus that we rode yesterday. We're on this bus. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check the tread on the bus before you get on is Dan's pro's tip. friend, my little dog friend. So we're waiting for the bus and Dan is getting extremely worked up by reading reviews and doesn't know if he wants to go on it. So we're gonna get the van here. We're gonna look at the wheels. We're gonna make sure it's all in order. And then we're gonna decide whether we're gonna get private transfer or we go on this. So far it's looking okay. This might be the guy here. So our van just got here, and look at the state of these tires. I am not getting in this van. We're gonna get a different uh, way to get there. Yeah, I just don't feel safe riding in a van with no seatbelts. So we decided that this is not gonna happen because they don't have seatbelts and the AC wasn't really working and you couldn't even open the door from inside the van to get out of the van and that, that kind of puts the nail in the coffin. Oh, and then we asked the guy if he could like open the door for us and he's like scrolling the through passenger. the passenger seat. He's scrolling through his phone and like literally there was somebody that was just in an accident and there was like blood all over their face and stuff. And I was like, maybe this is a sign. So we decided to say bye to the van. So we're gonna walk back to the main road. We're gonna see if we can find a private transfer that way. 
it's a bit safer because you know we've got lots of things we want to achieve in life and maybe we're being a bit whatever but yeah. safety is number one i'm being a bit whatever oh um, i meant before you're being a bit whatever bye well no i just wanted to see it and make sure that I was making the right choice. Because if it was like the silver van yesterday that we had, and they came and they were like... It has one and a half star reviews for a reason. Right, but I like to... We can call that company. Check. Make sure that we're making the right decision. So now we're gonna see if we can find a private uh, transfer and be safe. So now we have to figure out how to get a private transfer to Port Barton. Wish us luck. Port Barton. Port Barton, private taxi. Where do you go to get... After a bit of back and forth, we settled to go back to our hotel as they spoke good English and see if they could help us with a taxi. I don't know how good this audio is going to be, but we are trying to get to where we need to go. He has no idea where we're going, so we have to show him on the GPS. But once we get there, maybe they can help us get a private transfer to Port Barton because it's proving difficult. Here we go. This is where we're going. Let's see if we can make it. Do you guys think that we can make it? I think we can make it. We got this. This is so stressful. Hopefully we make it there today. Could I have done it without them? I don't know. Maybe I would have just got in the van and just risked it. Risk it for the biscuit? Who knows? So you wanna go to war with me? A quick text message had a smile on the guy's face and within minutes a taxi appeared. Alrighty guys, we are taxiing to Port Barton. He was literally outside when he called him and it's 4,500 pesos so of course it's above budget but safety is number one as Dan likes to say. So we're gonna head on out of here. What's, um, What's your hotel in Port Barton? Say? The name of your place. Wow. Now, this is you. Yeah. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Must be my long time. Whoa. We got our taxi. Look how cool the ceiling is in this taxi. It's so cool. So it's going to take two and a half hours instead of six. It's 4,500 pesos. 78.83 US, roughly. But now we are safe and sound so far. We've only gone five minutes down the road, but hopefully. We embarked on a two and a half hour drive across Palawan, stopping off a couple of times for breaks. The scenery was beautiful and it was relaxing being in our own car. As we went through the mountains, it started to rain. Thinking back to how the van was, I think we made the right decision. Dan's worried about this uh, bridge. Well, it is shaky. So we just made it to Port Barton and jumped out the taxi. We jumped out a little bit early because there was a wooden bridge. And I was like, oh, it'll be fine. We can walk over this bridge. But everyone else said no. Uh, probably a good idea. Have a look at the state of the bridge. But now we're walking to where our little hostel is. Town is super cute. It's not as sunny right now, but I'm sure on the beach it will be sunny. The drive was safe and easy. The road wasn't too uh, crazy. There wasn't dirt road or anything, just this last little bit. So we're good. And now we are in Port Barton. Alrighty guys, so we just made it into our room. But me being me, I just booked the room with a fan and the bed is like tiny. It's so small. So. We're gonna see if we can get a AC room just because of um, it will be a bit nicer and I'm feeling like I need some AC. I'm feeling 100% my nose has been like dripping that whole car ride which is super annoying and I was a bit nauseous just because of like how windy it is which is weird because normally I don't have travel sickness or motion sickness so I think it's just from being a bit tired and all the traveling and stuff, I don't know. It is really hot here, it's like the hottest month, so we should really uh, get AC to be a little bit more comfortable. So we didn't get the AC room because it was only one night. We're gonna go and eat real quick, and then I'm gonna come home and go to sleep, or lay down and just relax, because I don't feel good. And 
and I'm gonna get some tuna and try and feel better for tomorrow. It's raining out. I'm using my phone because I don't want to take my camera because I don't feel that great. Do you have the key? Where is it? It looks so pretty out, the sun and everything is so nice. So we have like a five minute walk to our thing. We discovered Star Apple Canteen on the main street in Port Barton. The fish was fresh, the vibes were right, and the food was well worth it. For a whole snapper and my piece of tuna, plus drinks, it cost us only 1,000 pesos, which is about $17 US. I definitely recommend checking it out if you come to Port Barton. We have our tuna. So good. Hopefully, it makes me feel a bit better. So we just got back. I feel shitty, so I'm gonna go and get into bed and just lay down and try and feel better. Um, then banging around. He forgot his water, but hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better. So I'll check in with you guys then.